basically when I was growing up, this is the book I would have always wanted. I wanted some sort of affirmation or proof that Arab Americans were as anticipated in the U.S. as all the other multi-ethnicities that make up make up the uh, American mosaic, whether it be Greek American, Italian Americans, Irish Americans, Arab Americans have been here as long. There are rumors that Arab Americans have been here, reported stories that Arab Americans came or Arabs came over with the with Spanish explorers uh, as slaves and as trackers and there have been reports of a uh, Syrian who served in the American forces during the Revolutionary War but the biggest number of Arab Americans began appearing in the late 19th century when most of the immigration to the United States started. You can't tell the story of an entire community over so many years. What you can try to do, especially with this community where there exists such a vacuum in terms of stories and information, is to try to tell parts of it, bits and pieces. So what I tried to do was pick those pick those events that have served as turning points, not only in a lot of individuals' lives, but also collectively for the community. And so the book is organized chronologically, and it presents this alternate timeline of American history as Arab Americans would define the important events. And some of those events are recognizable to all Americans, from 9-11 to the first and the second invasion of Iraq. Other events are probably a little less familiar or less important in an American consciousness, like the energy crisis of 73 or the hostage crisis of 79. And then other events are completely unknown to non-Arab Americans and maybe even to a lot of newer Arab Americans. And so um, what I tried to do is find somebody who could serve as a vicarious guide for those what it was like to live those moments of time. And so each chapter uses a different character, and that person's skin and eye serve as our, our guides. For, for what living in that moment of time was like. My hope for this book is that the next generation has something to, to not only find reflective of their experience, but also affirm and teach them their own history. And I also want you know, the, rest of, the rest of the United States to sort of get a better understanding of who we are, because if we better understand who we are and we sort of start to fill in these blanks, I mean, that can only mean moving forward in a, in a better way.